what's up guys, Gloss Next here. I am here in Toronto, just dropped Rihanna off. She's here taking a one day course through Global Medic so that she can become a part of the organization and if there's any kind of natural disaster that hits somewhere in the world, these are the people that you call. So she's gonna be learning how to set up, you know, tents, water purification stations, all this crisis emergency stuff. She's out there in the rain being a hero and I'm sitting in this sitting in this car figuring out what I'm supposed to do with myself for the day. Look at this rental car, boy. So we're staying in an Airbnb in Toronto. It's just, it's this room in somebody's house. We're just literally renting this one room and this bed because it's cheaper than a hotel. And we're only really here just for nights. Except for me, who's trying to kill a day. Eventually, I do plan <laughs> on uh, venturing out into the rain to go find a gym. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's go do that now. Okay, I was gonna go to Anytime Fitness, but uh, it closed on Sundays, I guess. I mean, that's, if you're a member and you have a scan card, you can get in anytime, but I guess they just don't want the public coming in on a weekend kind of odd but I guess we'll go try and find another gym I think there's another good life nearby I'm gonna try and go there next that's crazy man why you not have your doors open every day of the week I love how like trying to get in the doors locked and there's like members in there working out and it's like they can see me they're just kind of like like oh well, we we're not gonna let them into our club we're not gonna let them into our secret club I don't know I don't know what the hell is going on here. I followed Google Drive to Good Life and I ended up at the airport. I don't know if they really don't want me to work out today. They're just trying to send me back to Winnipeg. I guess I'll go to another Good Life, the next one that's hopefully not an airport. Okay, so I finally made it to Good Life Fitness. I'm not at an airport. This is in fact an actual Good Life gym. For women! So the first uh, place was closed Sundays. The second place was not a gym, but in fact an airport. And like, I looked at the maps after I was done, and it, it says, it's you have arrived at your destination, Good Life Fitness. And then I'm just sitting there, I'm surrounded by like, you know, buses and stuff, and I'm literally at an airport, I'm like, okay, this is probably not Good Life Fitness. So I go to another place, and it's for women, so. I guess the search continues. I don't know, I guess we'll try and find another gym. Okay, I think, I think there's a gym around here. According to Google, it's called Fit for Life. Like I'm just kinda surrounded by a bunch of like government looking buildings. So I saw some people with duffel bags walking this way. Maybe it's here. Okay, so here's the footage from the workout. Uh, not the best angles, but the gym was a bit crowded. So I did the best that I could. So I started off on the bench press. I did just a basic three by 10, wasn't really going for strength because I had just taken a week off and I was kind of just wanted to do a full body just to kind of get the rust off and prepare for my next week of heavy training. And here I'm doing a fairly close grip overhand lat pull down. Next up, I got some dumbbell squats in. Uh, typically when I do a full body, I usually do two or three leg exercises, but today I just stuck to the squats, not even at a heavy weight because I was gonna do a lot of walking around the rest of my day and the next day I was gonna be on my feet all day and after taking a week off I really didn't want to have killer doms for the rest of our little trip here. Next I moved into some easy bar curls. I love easy bar curls. I think they're probably my favorite form of curls. I love the feel of the bar. I feel like I get really great mind muscle connection with my biceps. I feel like I can control a lot of weight and still keep the tempo going. Yeah, I did just a basic 3 by 12 for these. Next I did a superset between face pulls and tricep pull downs with the rope. Little challenge I made for myself is that whatever weight I picked for my face pulls, I was gonna have to do for my tricep pull down. So I could just quickly switch between rear delts and triceps and keep the same weight. So it was an immediate jump of 10 reps to 10 reps. Moving on, I did some lateral delt flies, nothing fancy here, just a basic three by 10 at uh, the worst camera angle possible. I like to keep a slight bend in my arm when I do these because I feel like I can control the most amount of weight without sacrificing my form. Here I'm doing a dumbbell overhead press using hammer grip 
And as you can see in the video, I'm using a bit of leg drive, and that is simply because I'm trying to work on my technique for strongman. I'm trying to get the leg involvement in my pressing to feel just a little bit more natural. This is the last exercise I did. Um, I always wanted to do deadlifts, and it kind of killed me not to do deadlifts, but I wasn't really here to strength train. All the power racks were taken, there weren't a lot of barbells, gym was pretty crowded, so I'm like, yeah, I'll just do some back extensions. But at the same time, I also hadn't done a lot of core in this workout, aside from just stabilizing my other exercises, so I figured I'd add a twist in here. I think most workout routines lack uh, twisting movements. The body is built to twist, so I think everybody should be doing some kind of twist exercise at least once a week. So I just combined the two with a medicine ball. And then just to finish off the workout, I did 15 minutes walking at an incline. Now after the workout, I was going to go rent a towel for a shower, and they said they didn't have towels for rental. So I used my sweater to dry my body off. And it was already pouring that day, so my sweater was already wet, and but it was all I had. So after I dried off reluctantly and started to put my clothes on, I realized that I probably didn't need a towel because there was a sauna there. So I just walked in there and sat in there for a few minutes to dry off and it's really probably all I needed. I didn't need to dry off with my sweater. But hey, a steam room or sauna after workout feels amazing. And then I guess we'll call this a quick potty update because I decided to do some posing for some reason. And uh, I guess this is the state of where I'm at one week after the competition. Workout's done, got it in, feeling good, full body out of the way, had a shower, and uh, just feeling really refreshed, re-energized. It's really, it's really a good thing that it stopped raining because the only thing I had to keep myself dry is wet. So, what time is it now? It is 1.40, so now I'm going to go eat some food because I haven't eaten since about nine this morning, had a small McDonald's breakfast. I'm probably going to go to, there's a subway right across from the Airbnb, stop there, eat some of that free Wi-Fi to figure out what I'm going to do next. I might go back to the, uh, the Airbnb and just chill, watch a movie, whatever, wait for Brianna to uh, be finished with her course and then continue on with the day.